All right, you guys are not going to believe this, and I promise this was not my idea. My wife came up with this idea, and I think she's actually a genius because our problem was we couldn't go wheeling by ourselves. We always wanted to have another vehicle with us, so the solution is you get another vehicle and it's a samurai so it's like the circle of life here we're back to the samurai we can flat tow it unhook the tow bar and go hit trails all by ourselves we don't have to wait for anybody oh, i'm so stoked to get this thing out on the trail so this thing is a 1987 suzuki samurai and it might look a bit rough around the edges but it's got it where it counts and the reason we decided to pick up a Samurai of all vehicles is because it's small, lightweight, and we can flat tow it behind the Gladiator. So we can go to whatever trail we wanna go to, unhook the tow bar, flip it up, and go run a trail, and we don't have to rely on anybody else. Part of our problem that we've been having a little bit is just having people to go with because I don't like wheeling by myself, I don't think it's a good idea, but, two people, two vehicles, no matter what happens, we'll be okay because we'll be able to at least get one vehicle out, get to help or get to parts that we need. That's like worst case scenario. So uh, I think it's really smart. And the craziest part is I had nothing to do with it, really. It wasn't my idea in the slightest. It was my wife's idea. And I know you, most of you guys probably don't know her, but she's the one that films a lot of the stuff on the channel and she is constantly busting her butt up and down the trail. She's jogged and ran trails before to get footage, like uh, Big Bear, like those three Big Bear videos. She like ran those trails, and, and she does it all the time. But now, she can drive. And there's a couple cool things about this Samurai. I'm gonna tell you guys in a minute what makes it cool and why we got this exact one, but Long story short, what this means for you guys is hopefully, although all the national forests are currently closed in California, so it makes it hard to get out there on some of the trails currently, but more wheeling videos for you guys and samurai content for all my, you know, all you loyal subscribers who have been with me since the samurai days, because this thing is not gonna just be in the wheeling videos. There will be some project videos centered around it because it does need a couple things, so, you guys get to look forward to that. Uh, Jeep guys, don't just leave. It's not just Samurai. We're doing, we're gonna sort of blend them here. So it's all off-road. I love, you know, like you guys know, I love all off-road vehicles, no matter what it is. Uh, I do have a soft spot for the Samurai though. Something felt really right about picking this thing up the other day. So let me tell you guys a bit more about it. So, one of the main reasons that we picked up this particular Samurai is because of the engine it has. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Samurais, uh, this is a 1.6 liter 16 valve fuel injected uh, out of a Suzuki Sidekick. So essentially what that means is we're getting the reliability of fuel injection with probably not quite double the horsepower, but uh, it's up there with quite a bit of horsepower improvement. It's mainly the reliability uh, and it makes it easy to smog here in California. It's been refereed, which means that this is 100% smog legal. I could take it to any smog station and get it smog. So that was the big one because as some of you guys know, sort of why I got out of the Samurai game before, the stock engines are carbureted. They have almost no power. It's like a couple hamsters in there and it just makes it a total pain, especially in California, because there's cool stuff you can do to them to make them have more power, but anything you do that's not stock will not pass smog visually. So one problem solved. And another thing, which is probably even more rare than this motor being in, a lot of people swap these motors in, is the transmission. There is a three-speed automatic in this, and that wasn't a necessity, but it just makes it easier to drive um, and it's not going to be driven on the street too much anyways, but on the trail, having an automatic, as you guys know, um, it just makes it super easy. And not that my wife can't drive a stick. She actually can drive a stick just fine. But it just fell into our lap with 
with an auto. So we're going to rock it. And I, after having the Gladiator and wheeling the Gladiator for over a year now with an automatic transmission, I mean, like, I know you guys, there's, you guys are hardcore about the manual and that's, that's great. I got nothing against it, but the auto is superior in most ways, not every way, but most ways. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about the, the automatic transmission. Obviously, it needs a couple TLC. Uh, it did have a spare on here, which was even scarier, I think, with a 35 on here. So, a couple things to address, but let me tell you about a couple of the other goodies that it has underneath it. It has Toyota axles, which are, for Samurai, it's pretty much like putting one tons under it. 35 inch tires, 529 gears, lockers front and rear. Uh, it does have power steering out of a sidekick. Uh, Samurais, for those that don't know, don't come with power steering standard, so it does have that. Um, I think it has 6.5 to 1 transfer case gears in the transfer case, so this thing can crawl pretty well. And I think almost a perk is kind of, or I'm going to look at it as a perk, is the body's a little beat up, and we're okay with that because this thing might get in some hairy positions and we're not going to be afraid to like really put it through its paces because it's already smashed up. So it's kind of nice to just have like more of a beater and yeah, because the gladiator we try and keep nice. So, uh, we can, you know, have fun with the samurai, but, um, also it does have a full roll cage, which helps me feel good about, uh, my wife driving it and it has four point harness. So she'll be nice and safe in there if she does roll it over. Also, I did just want to throw out there like a huge thank you to everybody who bought a speed flight. I've been so busy. I haven't been able to make a video. It's been insane. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I work 40 hours a week and pretty much what it's been since September 1st is I come home at five, I eat dinner and then I work sometimes till midnight, 10 to midnight. And then I wake up, I work my job, and it's just been even weekends has been insane. So thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. The content is going to be coming, I promise. So that was part of getting this was to get more wheeling content. A lot coming in the future. If you guys want to support the channel further, there is links down below in the description to an Amazon page, Patreon page. I'll put Speedflight down there. Just take, take a look if you're interested. If not, no worries. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments section down below what you think of getting another Samurai and this Samurai in particular because I know it looks rough. So let me know what you guys think, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.